Well, we have a dry day for the most part today, pleasant, but more storms on the way Thursday as the second cold front of the week moves through. That one will really drop dew points and make for a beautiful holiday weekend. So we have some stubborn low clouds and fog uh, across the southern part of the state where we have some of the highest dew points, still some muggy air. That first front did drop temperatures and dew points, but not to comfortable levels quite yet. Uh, but we should burn through that stuff through uh, the morning hours, midday, increasing sun as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. Uh, but we might see some of those low clouds kind of linger for places like Duluth, northern Wisconsin here through the day today. Uh, and quite the temperature contrast, as well as a dew point contrast. Upper 60s to near 70 in northeastern Minnesota, but some low 80s in southwestern Minnesota in between the Twin Cities, probably mid to upper 70s today. So pretty seasonable temperatures, but we are watching off to the west, the next area of low pressure. And the second cold front of the week, this is going to be the focal point for storms late Thursday and maybe even some strong to severe storms again. I don't think we'll see a repeat of Monday where we have two bow echoes coming to the Twin Cities, but the possibility of some damaging wind gusts and large hail definitely out there. Uh, steamy out ahead of it. It's looking warmer than it had uh, previously for tomorrow. Low to mid 80s, maybe some upper 80s, some models hinting at tomorrow, along with dew points near 70 degrees. So it's going to be very humid tomorrow. Uh, not as humid as Monday, but dew points around 70. That's pretty tropical here. Midday dew points are going to be right around that mark along with the heat, and then you've got this advancing cold front. Uh, we do have now a slight risk of severe weather. Yesterday, that forecast was a more of a marginal low-level risk, but this is level two out of five. Now, Monday, the risk was three out of five, an enhanced risk, so not expecting that at this point. Uh, things could change, though, but probably some morning, late night, morning showers and thunderstorms for northwestern Minnesota, but as we heat up during the day, we're going to see storms fire along that whole cold front really from Iowa up to the international border, and then those will sweep eastward. Twin Cities, probably in the evening hours, that's when we could see maybe some damaging wind gusts again uh, and some large hail. Now, even the models are hinting at fewer and less severe wind gusts than what we had Monday, but that possibility is there. So heads up for late afternoon, Thursday and evening, we could see more strong storms again and potential for some heavy rainfall out of some of those storms. But that's going to really clear things out finally, uh, making for a gorgeous Friday, Saturday. Upper 70s Friday, lower humidity. Dew points will be in the comfortable 50s, a little bit breezy out there. Uh, dew points are going to be the big difference behind that front as we head into Monday, uh, or Friday rather. Dew points will be well into the 50s across the state. But there's another front coming through Sunday. That's going to drop temperatures further and dew points further. Uh, Sunday, Monday, just low to mid 70s for highs, 60s north. And look at these lows early Monday morning, uh, 40s widespread, except for in the urban heat island. We'll probably hang on to low 50s in the Twin Cities, but uh, probably some pockets of 30s on the Iron Range early Labor Day morning Monday. Uh, 78 today, decreasing clouds. Thursday, we will see some peaks of sun, and that's only going to fuel the storms later in the day. 85 uh, but again, some models are hinting at upper 80s, maybe near 90 for some. It will be humid, and then we'll see those storms fire and sweep across the state late afternoon, evening. Gorgeous, though, here. You couldn't time this better. Friday through the Labor Day holiday, and actually even into Tuesday, first day of school for a lot of folks. Uh, gorgeous weather, sunshine, low humidity, warmer to start that holiday weekend, and then cooler temperatures Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. But uh, yeah, pretty nice weather ahead after tomorrow.